Palantir up 14.5% today. Today alone up 14.5%. The reason is Kathy Wood started buying. She bought, well, that's not true. She already had a position, but she's buying back in. She had reduced it. Now she's buying back in 13 million worth of Palantir. Now that it's $11, almost $12, is Warren Buffett, his rule of waiting for a fat pitch, swinging when it's in your strike zone, is this still in the strike zone? I've got a worksheet, and I punched in the EPS, the earnings per share, for next year, not this year, next year, $0.26, cents, applied a growth rate, and then you hit calculate. I'm using 22%. And it says 572 is a fair value for next year, as in one times the growth rate for Palantir. Where is that? That's around down here, five, five, uh, five to six dollars. So it's twice above that. Most likely this is at least twice the growth rate. So if you get to buy it down here in the five to six, a decade later, it's probably going to be worth about, you know, anywhere between seven and 10 times. So, you know, maybe it makes sense. Maybe it doesn't make sense to buy it here, but I do believe it'll be lower one day. Let's look at this image that I drew up. Stock price momentum eventually is limited by business fundamentals, also known as reality. Momentum traders, picture traders, you know, we take the stock up because it's working. You know, buy on the breakout, buy stop in, high goes higher, buy high, sell higher until it fails. Then the value buyers have to step in. This has happened before. That's how we got here, right? Momentum traders took stock, uh, Palantir stock when it came out at 10 bucks, took it to almost 40. Then it broke down. Now the value buyers stepped in. So the question becomes, if you bought it, do you let it go? And if you didn't get it already, do you chase it? Because potentially this could be, what, a, a $70 stock, 60 to $70 stock in, in a decade. I mean, intrinsic value. That's what we're, we're looking at. Seven to 10 times in 10 years. And how do I know that? Because I, I grow out the math. And if you take one, and you grow it out by 20%, and you do that for a decade, you're going to get this number six times. So potentially a company that grows at 20% should grow its value by six times. If it doubles, that's good. If you dump it, you double your money, and you'll be happy but you'll, you might miss out on the rest of the decade. If you don't get it, you might have to chase it or you can wait. You could just wait for when it's in a sweet spot. Like Warren Buffett says, wait for your pitch. You don't have to chase these things. That's the, uh, there's 16,000 stocks. You don't have to chase one because it's rising. That's all I got for now. Cheers.